to another edition of the Blue Couch Reviews. Uh, this is our second episode. Thank you for uh, joining us tonight. I'm, we are your hosts, Eddie. And John. And today we have another review for you on the big movie itself, The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1. Yeah, it's, it's definitely the third movie in the trilogy, or technically it's four movies, and uh, they split it up. Mm-hmm. Who stars in it, Eddie? So we got Katniss herself, Jennifer Lawrence. We've got Gail as Liam Hemsworth. We've got Phil Hoffman, rest in peace to him. And we've got Josh Hutcherson. That's right. And rounding out the cast is going to be Julian Moore. We have Elizabeth Banks, Woody mm-hmm. Harrelson himself, and the legendary Donald Sutherland. Yes. I'm a big fan of uh, Woody Harrelson. I like his character in this series a lot. <laughs> yeah, he plays a good Hamish, uh, the mentor of the Mockingjay herself. Yes, yes, very funny man, a drunkard. <laughs> <laughs> so it starts off um, right after the Hunger Games. Um, you see Katniss somewhere. You don't know where yet. Um, but she's going crazy, she's losing her mind, she's very traumatic from the Hunger Games, what happened, she doesn't even remember what happened uh, with a lot of it, and um, she's just, yeah, she's breaking down. Yeah, she's a shell of a woman, and uh, they, yeah, the Hunger Games have stripped her of everything, and mm-hmm. they visually showed this pretty well. She's been pretty much just un up, she's just in a blank jumpsuit for yeah. the first uh, ten minutes of the movie. Uh, so they really just she's a blank character at this point mm-hmm. um, which is a problem for District 13 because because they need a leader they need a Mockingjay which is uh, the perfect role for them where they see fit is Katniss um, because she's the one who started the rebellion uh, with the Hunger Games uh, you could see it in the first one uh, from the very first one, she decided not to kill Peta. They survived together, becoming the first ever uh, twosome to win the Hunger Games. And then the second one, where she shot the arrow at the barrier, as a, you know, I'm not going to listen to you, <laughs> government. Yep, she has sparked the rebellion, no question about it. They need her to step up and be a leader, but can she do that? Uh, her first answer is no. She can't do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And she doesn't have uh, any reason to do it until she finds out that uh, Peter's alive. Yes, yes. And uh, she sees the destruction of uh, District 12 as well and sees what happened to everyone. And so she kind of changes her mind, but not without a few uh, circumstances, of course, which uh, leads to a very funny scene with her and the president. <laughs> <laughs> she has her list ready to go. She knows that she's important, she can make demands, Mm -hmm. and uh, she lists them out to the president. Yes, yes. And so, uh, after that, kind of jumps in uh, to two two really big aspects of this movie and what they're about. Well, one more so than the other. Um, The smaller portion of this movie is has to do with the love triangle that's going on between Katniss, Gail, and Peta. Yeah, thankfully they don't get too crazy or in your face about it. It's mm-hmm. there, of course. They do build on it. They have more time to build on it mm-hmm. because they split this movie in half. Yes. Uh, so you really get a good interaction between her and Gail for, for the first time. Yeah, they really have a lot of time, time to spend. Yep, yep. And then uh, with her just questioning her, her feelings about Peta a lot in this yeah. one, um, especially since they go back and forth mm-hmm. um, with different promos, because she's the District 13's promo person, their, their leader, then Pita's the Capitals promo yes, person, yes. their counter to her, and yeah. so... And you can definitely see it when uh, she's with Gail, you can see the relationship that they have with each other and her feelings and his feelings for her, but then you also see it when uh, the Capitals shows their promo with Peta in it, how she reacts to it. Um, she gets really uh, emotional yeah. when, during those scenes, and uh, she gets really defensive about him. Everyone actually hates him in there, and she's the only one that's sticking up for him, and you know, she's telling everyone to give him a chance. Yeah. So, and that, so that's a 
one portion of the movie, but the really big focus of this movie is the uprising of the rebellion, of the districts bringing them all together to uh, go against the government and having the leader, Miss Katniss the Mockingjay herself, uh, being the big role. Yeah, that's her job. That's why she is there. She's there to get the other districts on District 13 side so they can take down the capital. And they do this pretty well in the movie. I really thought it was handled well. Um, they do a couple different things to show what they're trying to do and how they're trying to get the promos done. And it turns out that Katniss is a bad actor. She can't act. <laughs> so yeah. what they have to do is send her out in the field so she goes visit his different districts and they film her doing this and trying to get her that response uh, that's really going to help spark people and get them on the rebellion side. Yeah, yeah. So definitely with that being said, there's not much uh, action to expect in this movie. Um, there's a, all but three scenes, I believe, of action which are very short-lived. Um, so it's very... It's a very informative movie, uh, really goes into the detail on Katniss's uh, character, on who she is and her personality and what she can and can't be. Um, so it really goes into detail on her persona, which I think is really good as well too. It really lets the audience know who she is. So they build on that, and then they leave it off in a pretty interesting spot, to say the least. We're not going to get too into it mm -hmm. to spoil the movie for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but lo and behold, the uh, capital has made a strike against them, mm -hmm. uh, leaving our heroes kind of beat down and wounded. Yes, and yes. Uh, the, the second part, well, they'll have to rise up and uh, see if they can take the capital down. Yeah, yeah. And actually, uh, there's a little bit after that, but we won't go into any of that. So we'll kind of leave it at that. We don't want to spoil anything else for you guys who haven't watched it. Um, and for that, what do you think, John? Would you go tell them to watch it? Is it worth watching? Or should it? What do you think? Yeah, so my personal thoughts is I'm a fan of the series, of course. I read the books. The books are really good. I always recommend those guys. Uh, mm -hmm. The movies themselves, I've always been uh, fans of. I don't actually own them, uh, so I can't say I'm a super fan. Uh, but this one, for me, was the best of the bunch. You really get to feel for the, the characters in the movie. You really get a feel for Katniss, mm -hmm. how she has to go from an empty shell into this uh, great, hopefully one day, great leader to, mm -hmm. to take on the Capitol. So you get to see that journey start off, and you get to see... The characters interact and what they mean to each other. Mm -hmm. So for me, this is my favorite of the series so far, even though it does have the least amount of action in it. Um, so I would give it two mocking J, two and a half mocking J pins out of four. Mm -hmm. uh, so I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. I would say if you're a fan of the series, go watch it. If you're not a fan of the series, it's not going to make you jump on board at this point. Um, but it's a solid movie. Mm -hmm. And uh, as for myself, I would have would have loved to see a little bit more action. Um, I'm just more of an action guy, uh, which is why I love the first and second one. The second one, the best though. Um, I really like how it portrayed into many different aspects of each character as well, even more so. Um, but this one was really good. I liked it as well. Uh, it really gives you a deep. Uh, look into the characters and what their roles really are in the series. Um, it, in, ter in terms of the book, um, as we all know, movies don't really follow the book too well. <laughs> but this one kind of follows it kind of well, right? Yes. Um, so it's... Uh, I guess it's worth watching. I'd probably, for myself, I'd give it about two Mockingjay pins. Um, not the best of them, but I mean, if you, you could watch it. Definitely, it's an okay watch. So, definitely deserves our seal of okay. Yeah, it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just misses the approval there. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, that's it for the Mockingjay part one. If you guys have any other suggestions or comments on which movies we should probably watch and give want to see reviews on, then feel free to 
comment on our page, uh, our YouTube channel, actually. Yep. Yeah, which is uh, John. Uh, it's uh, Dream Destinations Entertainment is our YouTube channel. We also are Osmosis Media as well. Yes. So you can go ahead and uh, get on either one of those channels, leave us a comment, any uh, thing you want us to see, give a review on, go ahead and give us a shout out and we'll go ahead and get on that for you. Until then, take care, have a good night, thank you for joining us.